Hey you. Have you guys ever judged uh, like a piece of music or anything in general? And then oddly enough, finding yourself later actually liking it or liking part of it? Like for me, I used to really hate reggaeton. Like, like hated it, hated it, every aspect of it, every artist, everything that had to do with it. And I would just find myself with so much hate and so much like anger every time I was even close to it, listening to it from other people, you know, and oddly enough, I found myself actually having fun with a few songs, you know, and these past few days I've realized how much of a waste that is, you know, how much waste of energy when you... You don't necessarily like something, but you don't have to go full hate mode on it. Because there, there's always something, a, a part of it that you can enjoy and appreciate it. And if you're looking at it like as a neutral base, it's, it's always going to be a win-win. Because you don't have to stress about it. You don't have to carry that hate or that load with you. And you'll find some things that are actually cool and fun about it, you know? And the same thing goes with people, too. I remember that most of my friends, they always thought I was like this asshole or serious guy because I, I always had a, like a frowny face. And then they, they became my, my best friends, you know? After a few times we hang out, we talked about, we talked a little bit, and they always tell me that. They always thought, man, I always thought you were such an asshole or... Like a serious, serious guy. We actually pretty fun to hang out with. I was like, yeah, of course. <laughs> and I guess we can always apply that to everything, not just music or people, but everything in general. And it's, it really is a waste of time, you know, like when you just dedicate so much hate to it or so much like negative energy to it. If we learn to look at it from a neutral space, you know, from a neutral perspective, we can, we can actually appreciate some of the things, you know? I'm not saying we're going to like everything. We're still going to dislike, I mean, stuff. The things that we don't like, we're not going to like. But you'd be surprised. I like hidden, hidden gems you could find, you know, like, with this new music of new new drum right too, like of hip hop, they think it's called trap. I was at first I was really against it. It was like, man, what the fuck is this shit? But then as I, I started, you know, I, I listened to a couple of artists here and there and then it was actually it wasn't that bad, you know, like I'm not saying that every artist is good, but I took for granted you know, the, the just the whole genre, just the whole thing, because a few of them were kind of idiots or didn't really think they were making like real music or good music. But it wasn't that wasn't the case at all. I was just generalizing. And well, yeah, the, there, there's good music there and there's good artists, too. You know, like I really found myself enjoying a lot and, and dope dope beats too and it's pretty cool you know when you open yourself to new things and not not being judging all the time i remember when i was younger like most of the older generation were always like that you know anything that was new was like no that sucks no that that that's not that's not gonna work no that's stupid and I remember saying to myself, I don't want to be like that when I grow up. You know, I don't want to be this judgy guy that can't, you know, uh, like, accept new things and appreciate new things and for what they are, you know, instead of criticizing and, and being like, no, no, that, that doesn't work. You should stay with what's already done. And life isn't like that, you know? We're always changing. Life is always changing. We're always constantly making new things. And, and that's a cool part, too. That's cool. That's a cool thing. 
you know. I remember uh, my, my friend of mine, he's really into YouTube. And he told me about this artist, Post Malone. I thought, at first I thought he was like a random YouTuber because he's always watching the podcast from H3. And he's always there, you know, most of the time talking with, uh, with, the, with the host and whatnot. And just a couple of days ago, I, st- I actually listened to one of their songs, one of the one of the songs, Post Malone, and it was I was blown away. You know, it was it's really good music. The beats are dope, and the lyrics, the way he the, delivers the you know the songs, and and I like the mix too. He does because I, I, he apparently had uh, some influence back before he started the whole rap or hip-hop trap whatever you want to call it um he used to do a lot of acoustic work and i think he used to be in a metal band too and i could see the influence you know i I was i was in a band once and it's really cool you know It, it is it is really cool and and it's some, and it's a perfect example too, you know, because it's like a, a white guy who's trying to rap, rap again, or like in the new genre. And people are always judging and be like, "Oh no, you you, you can't do that. You you know, it's, it's not right, you know, because they're not, again, they're not used to being to new things. They're not used to different things, you know." And like I said, there's, there, there's always something that you can appreciate. I mean, it's a cool thing, really, when, when you, you suddenly let go of, of all the judgment on everything and others. It, it, it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool feeling, you know? Because there's, so, there's just so much you can appreciate, you know, from a neutral standpoint, you know, from a neutral view. And the best thing about it is that you don't have to carry all that weight with you, you know? Because I remember when I used to hate the reggaeton. And, and back where I used to live in Puerto Rico, that was everywhere, you know? Every corner, there, there's somebody blasting that shit. And I would always get so mad, you know, because I didn't want to hear that music. I didn't, I didn't really like it, especially the message. And, and, and I just thought they were like copying the the rappers from the United States and whatnot and I just felt it was really half-assed but yeah I was just used to I was carrying all that hate carrying all that load all the time all the time fighting against it and when I let go of it you know, I can I can actually appreciate some of the things, you know, some of the beats, some of the well the beats are almost always the same, but they change a little bit, like the the melodies or whatnot. And and I can appreciate some of them, you know. I can laugh about it, I can laugh with them, you know. And not carry all that hate. It's it's a pretty it's pretty cool, you know, it's pretty cool. And if you apply that in like every sense of the word, you know, like with people, especially if you're not constantly judging everybody, you can appreciate a lot about different, you know, different individuals. Even people that just walking around the street, you know, they might give you a bad look, like an assy look. You don't necessarily have to pay attention to that. You could actually start a conversation with the guy or the girl and be like, why are you so mad? And you'd be surprised, you know, people are like open books. Everybody has a different story. There's always something that you can appreciate. So I guess my point is not not to judge anything at all. I mean, you're always gonna have your likes and dislikes. But look at things from a neutral point of view, you know, find the things that you can appreciate 
And the things that you don't like, then you just don't like about it. But you don't have to carry that with you. You don't have to turn that into hate. Yeah. <laughs>